the role and understanding of religious icons in Catholicism. Religious icons hold a significant place in Catholicism, often misunderstood by those outside the faith. Critics sometimes accuse Catholics of idol worship, mistaking the veneration of icons for the worship of idols. However, within Catholic teaching and practice, there is a clear and important distinction between veneration and worship. The distinction between veneration and worship in Catholic doctrine, worship or latria is due to God alone. This form of worship involves adoration and is directed exclusively towards the Holy Trinity. You shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Matthew 4.10 Veneration, on the other hand, is known as dulia, which is a form of honor given to the saints. The Virgin Mary, due to her unique role in salvation history, receives a special veneration called Hyperdulia, which is higher than that given to other saints, but still fundamentally different from the worship given to God. The purpose of religious icons. Religious icons are visual representations of holy figures such as Jesus, Mary and the saints. These icons serve as aids to faith, providing a tangible focal point for prayer and meditation. They are not considered idols, but are rather windows to the divine, intended to elevate the mind and heart to God. Icons remind the faithful of the virtues and lives of the saints, inspiring them to lead holy lives. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Hebrews 12.1 The Theological Foundation the veneration of icons is rooted in the incarnation of Christ. As the Second Council of Nicaea in 787 AD articulated because God became visible in the person of Jesus Christ, it is appropriate to use visible images to bring believers closer to the divine. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, John 1.14. This council clarified that the honor given to an icon passes to its prototype, meaning that veneration directed at an icon is meant to honor the person it represents. Misunderstandings and clarifications. Misunderstandings about the use of icons often stem from a literal interpretation of the biblical prohibition against graven images in the Old Testament. You shall not make for yourself an idol or any likeness of what is in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the water under the earth, Exodus 24. However, Catholics understand this commandment in its historical context, distinguishing between the forbidden practice of idolatry and the veneration of images that lead believers to greater reverence for God. Moreover, the use of religious images has biblical precedents. For example, God commanded the making of cherubim on the Ark of the Covenant, and you shall make two cherubim of gold. Make them of hammered work at the two ends of the mercy seat, Exodus 25:18. Another instance is the bronze serpent made by Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a standard, and it shall come about that everyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, he will live. Numbers 21, 8, 9. These instances illustrate that physical representations can have a place in religious life when used correctly. In Catholicism, religious icons are not idols, but instruments that help the faithful connect with the divine. They are visual aids that draw believers into deeper contemplation and prayer, honoring the holy figures they depict without attributing to them the worship due to God alone. Understanding this distinction is crucial in appreciating the role of religious icons within the Catholic tradition. Through proper veneration, icons serve as bridges to the sacred, enriching the spiritual lives of the faithful and drawing them closer to the mysteries of their faith.